morning guys or good afternoon whatever time of day it is for you wherever you're at this you guys is going to be a new journey for all of us whoever comes to see this this is a debut video for me something that i'm spirit led and get guided to do um this will be a high vibrational light worker reading i guess is what we'll call it until i can think of a better name <laughs> blessings 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 to everyone who stops by here, even though my Palo Santo doesn't want to light up and stay lit very well, that's okay. We will get through. There we go. There we go. Blessings. Blessings. Thank you. All right. So I have a little intro prayer that I want to say before we get started. And I have an exit prayer prepared. Dear Heavenly Father, I love you. And I thank you for always being here for me as I seek your way and guiding light. I ask that your peace overcomes me and those watching. As I wait for your voice to show me the way. May your guidance be present always, and may your answers come where I am ready. Help me to grow in discernment as I develop my God-given talents and gifts. Rejecting the lies of the enemy, lift me up to you. Bring me close. Let me feel your presence. Let it be pure and good with peace and clarity. Give me patience and courage to deliver your message and to touch the hearts of those in need of it. All of this I ask through your loving Holy Spirit, Lord, and your, in your precious Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. So I think we're going to start with some angel, with an angel blessing, an angel message to start out our high vibrational loving reading. Let's get an angel message or two. I hear two. We'll do two. All right. There's the first one. So I think what I'm going to do is bring my intuition in here. Rather than reading the book right off, I'm going to bring my intuition in here and say how what I feel off of these angel messages. And I think as these videos go along and I get better at doing them, um, I will probably need to explain a lot less <laughs> what I'm doing. So the first card I, I got was Romance. And from what I intuitively feel off of this angel message is that right now in the world, as so much uh, troubling things are going on and so much pain and anger and fear are ruling our hearts, um, we need to stop a minute and um, realize that we do have people in our life that love us and uh, we need to draw close to those individuals. We need to um, embrace the love of our family, of our loved ones, um, and um, draw strength from that to help us move throughout our days in this, the craziness of this world right now. The second card I pulled was Meditation Brings Answers. Um, I, I feel like this is um, God telling us that we need to, to meditate. We need to stop 
be still, empty our minds, let the, uh, the universe bring the information and the knowledge that we need to know um, that is, um, is waiting for us if we just empty our mind of all the clutter and uh, let spirit bring in what it is that we need to focus on in our lives. Meditation does bring answers. Meditation saved my life. Um, without it, I would not be able to talk to the Holy Spirit the way I do. I would not be able to get the downloads that I get. Um, I, I appreciate the, the healing that comes with meditation. And, um, and I absolutely tell everybody that will listen that you need to meditate. And if you have a hard time with meditation, if you feel like you can't do it, I have a friend who says, I have ADHD, I can't meditate. Yes, you can. Take five minutes of your day and start with a short five-minute guided meditation and work your way up from there. I firmly believe that meditation is one of the most healing things we can do for ourselves. All right. Great messages. I don't even feel like I need to read the corresponding book. I feel like that's what I was supposed to say. So I'm going to put this candle here off to the side and keep it burning while we finish our reading. And I'm going to do a few oracle messages. Uh, whatever spirit feels I need to bring into this video. And I'm thinking, dun, 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 dun. I'm going to start with the Sacred Forest Oracle. Isn't that beautiful? This is brand new to me. Absolutely love this deck. I've seen a lot of other people doing readings with it. It resonates with me huge. So this was actually brought into my life through my husband. And I trust him with all my heart. There's that romance right there. Absolutely my soulmate. And I'm so grateful and so fortunate to have him. Oh, there it is. Oh, we've got two. All right, we have two messages from the Enchanted Forest. The first one we got is New Beginnings. New Beginnings. So it might feel like the world is coming to an end, but it's not. This is a new beginning um, as, we, as our planet and our consciousness uh, kind of raises in vibration and shifts into another vibration, another dimension. It's a new beginning. It's an absolute new beginning. And so the Daffodil Fairy comes in to tell us that we are in the midst of new beginnings. And I will put that there. The next one is Eagle Spirit Freedom. Oh, how beautiful. What a beautiful card. Card number 13. So mm -hmm. intuitively what I feel off of this is that we have the freedom we have freedom to explore ourselves, explore our, our gifts, our talents, explore the messages that spirit gives us to uh, explore our pathway. We have that freedom. It may feel like right now everybody's freedoms are being taken away. It may feel like we are all under um, someone evil's hand who is trying to strip and take away our freedoms, but really no one can do that. Because it's God-given. Our freedom is God-given. So we need to embrace that freedom that is given to us um, through Spirit, through God. Who is the only one who has any say over our lives, to be honest. Ultimately. Beautiful. Okay. The next one I'm going to do. Feeling drawn to. Excuse me while I try to pick up these cards with my way too long fingernails. <laughs> All right. And this is, a, is from the Mystical Wisdom card deck. So let's see what kind of mystical wisdom is here for us today. Oh, that's way too much. Sorry about that. We will keep going. As I always say, even if I put a card back, if it's meant to come out, it will. What kind of mystical wisdom spirit do we need to... Oh, we got... I'm going to pull this one. All right. Wow. Okay. This is a great one. Dragon. 
discover your courage. Now this resonates for me greatly because just ha just doing this video right here is me discovering my courage because I tend to have stage fright and I worry about the fact that um, right now uh, my my sacred space, my altar, uh, my area for doing these videos is kind of encroached upon. I don't know if you can hear my son's um, noise in the background that he, even though he has his earbuds in, it he listens to it so loud I can still hear it. I hope you guys can't. Um, <laughs> but, but basically what I'm saying is that we need to discover our courage. Have courage. Have courage to do the things that make you happy. Have courage to do the things that make you feel whole inside. Have courage to do the things that you feel spirit-led to do. And, and I'm following this message right now. Discover your courage. Thank you, beautiful Josephine Wall, for that gorgeous artwork. Okay, the next one I'm going to pull from is a little bit of earth wisdom. Let's get a little bit of earth wisdom. What does spirit want to show us today with some earth wisdom? Oh, sorry, dropped half the deck. <laughs> That's not going to work. Work in progress, guys. Work in progress here. Thank you for being with me during this new journey I'm taking. I'm trying to spread up, uplifting, high vibrational messages. All of my beautiful subs and my beautiful soul sisters. All right. And we got self-acceptance. I hope you guys are seeing these. Self-acceptance. Nowadays, it's so hard because we have a hard time. We question ourselves. We wonder if we're doing the right thing. We wonder if we're on the right path. We wonder if this person likes us or that person likes us or uh, if we're doing enough for other people or all of those type of things. Well, before spending too much of your energy worrying about what other people think and what other people believe is your your pathway and your life. Accept yourself first. You've got to accept who you are before you can help anyone else. You've got to accept who you are and embrace who you are before you can go out trying to give advice to anyone else or share healing messages for other people. We need to learn self-acceptance 100% and I, I love that. I love that. Okay, guys, we're going to do one more. This one is from the Lightworkers Oracle. So this is a direct message for the Lightworkers. The ones out there trying to do what I'm doing right now. Spirit, what message do we have for the beautiful Lightworkers? What message do we have for the beautiful Lightworkers who give their life force, their energy, their inner strength? I saw that one poking out, so I'm going to pull it. Okay, and we get number 41, Spiritual Decree. I love this so much. This almost brings tears to my eyes because I see myself in this position holding my heart, wondering what's going on with my body, um, but not questioning God at the same time because God has a plan already set in, in stone for all of us and we need to accept and explore our own spiritual decree explore within ourselves our pathway explore within ourselves our spiritual decree and I think with this one I'm going to read the corresponding message in the book I'm being told to so that I will do. And here you go. Spiritual Decree. You've been wondering what will happen next in your life, not realizing how much power you have to decide that for yourself. What do you wish to have happen next? Are you willing to use your divine birthrights of free will, voice, and empowerment to set the cosmic wheels in motion? If your answer is yes, then it is time to speak your truth to the universe. Decree it 
and you shall be it. So that is amazing. And I feel like that message was meant for myself, for all of us. It kind of um, sets the tone for the whole this whole message. Um, we need to use our spiritual gifts, our, our talents, and our connection with spirit to um, put out into the universe our radiating love, our high vibrational energies. We need to raise the vibration on this planet. It's it's more than important. It's everything. It's everything. When we raise our vibration, we are protecting ourselves from the bad stuff, the low vibrational things that are meant to harm us, to bring us lower so that they can feed on our fear and our, our anxiety and our, our hurts and our pains. Also, I've learned from experience very, very recently that if we raise our vibration, we can actually heal ourselves physically, emotionally, spiritually. We can heal ourselves by raising our vibration. And it's so important that we find our own specific ways of doing that. For me, it's going to be this. Along with my, my daily routines, I, rituals I do in the morning, my prayers, my meditation. Like I said, meditation is huge. Meditation will bring you so many answers you have no idea. And downloads. It's like a um, opening a channel straight to the divine. And and we got to do it. We got to do the meditation. If you If you don't think you can, at least give it a try. I believe in you. I know you can do it. And, and thank God for that, that we have that ability. It's there. You just got to find it and use it and build on it. Okay, I'm going to do an, ex, an exit prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Archangels, loving spiritual guides, Give us the discernment to make decisions that enable us to follow the paths that you have set before us. Enable us to trust that your Holy Spirit is with us and guiding us, helping us to accept our past, enjoy our present, and embrace our future. Give us faith the size of a mustard seed. Give us discernment to trust that you will provide us with every need. Enable us to trust you that you will surround us with your people and remove those that mean us harm. Grant us the wisdom that only you can provide. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me on my first um, high vibrational oracle reading. I love you guys. Blessings.